The cleanup crews on the scene of that anthrax contamination in Derby. It was last week that two people there were found to have a non-contagious form of anthrax poisoning. Spores were found on that property. It was actually in Danbury cleaning up the contaminated area is quite an undertaking, forcing traffic to be diverted around the area. News Channel 8's Kent Pierce is there with the latest. Kent. And Sonia, you can see that Peyton Aram Road back here is closed right now. It was closed yesterday. It'll be closed during the day for the next couple of days because they are starting to clean up those anthrax spores. The spores were found last week in a house in a barn just down the road there. An African drum maker was working with untreated animal hides in the barn. Those hides had anthrax spores on them. That drum maker and a family member got cutaneous or skin anthrax that way. Those spores got in the barn, the house, and the drum maker's car. They have cleaned out the car, and today they're going to vacuum and scrub contaminated parts of the house. Then they're going to take everything out of the barn and wash it in bleach. This morning, EPA officials walked us through what will happen after that. Once the shed is empty, we're going to send people in in protective gear and get the old scrub brushes out and just wash the whole place down, do some power washing, and then we're going to sample it. Sample it, meaning test it for spores. The hope is the cleanup wraps up by midday Sunday. Then the samples get sent to the lab. It takes a few days to get the test back, but if the tests come back clean, then the cleanup was a success and the house is safe.